Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters, and I'm back again with another 30 days of WrestleMania. Today we're going to be talking about WrestleMania 19. Uh, take a look at this one. Um, uh, th this was a nice one, guys. Um, this one... <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is in uh, Seattle at Safeco Field. This is, uh, uh, you know, I think it's the, might be, I, I, well, I not the only baseball-specific stadium. Uh, well, I think the only baseball-specific stadium they've been into, uh, Toronto, uh, the Skydome, I believe they play baseball there as well. Um, so you can kind of tell that with the awkwardness of the setup. Um, but really cool. Uh, it, 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 and it definitely felt big. Had 50-some uh, thousand uh, fans involved in that. Uh, you know, Rey Mysterio was a part of this one. Uh, big match against Matt Hardy at the beginning there. Um, and a lot of fun stuff. A lot, a lot of fun stuff. It's also, remember, there's a one in there where filming me as they remind you several times, although I never got to see this until years later. Uh, WrestleMania the movie, which I think is officially the first ever... WWE, WWE Studios Films Project, and they did a lot of behind the scenes of this that they were shooting in film like quality, um, including chronicling uh, this being Stone Cold Steve Austin's last match um, and what led up to that and how. How you know he almost didn't make it to his last match. Uh, one of the first uh, major encounters with Shawn Michaels and Chris Jericho, which of course led to some tremendous, tremendous stuff later in later years. Um, Booker T getting his his shot at a world title match, and uh, of course Hulk Hogan versus Vince McMahon, which I know is pretty much the cover feud. Whenever you pick this thing up, um, when it was on DVD. And everything, um, which which is interesting, especially since you did have Stone Cold and uh, and uh, The Rock in such an epic encounter as well, which was not for a title. And of course, uh, really relevant today, Kurt Angle against Brock Lesnar, um, which was a tremendous match. Um, I remember being super super excited for Kurt Angle and Brock Lesnar because I'm like, these are two guys that transitioned over from the NCAA uh, in Olympic wrestling and to become tremendous professional wrestlers and uh, that they, they and they had a great incorporation of of all of that in and uh, it, it really showcased that and of course is the one and only time although apparently he did it a little bit on not the Indies but the developmental cycle one of the only times that we got um, um, uh, Brock Lesnar's and very interesting actually <laughs> wait this is very interesting I'm going through the pictures on their uh, on their website and they actually don't have anything from from Kurt Angle versus Brock Lesnar in here <laughs> it, if you were if you were just flipping through this you would think the main event was Rock and Austin very curious very very curious it's not like it's a Chris Benoit kind of situation um, but but still I really shook a lot of matches and and and, and uh, of course Hulk Hogan and Vince McMahon was a bloody, 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 bloody mess. And you get to remember that. Um, also, watching this on the network, very strange. Um, uh, they do a better job of masking um, of masking uh, 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 entrances that they don't have rights to the music to. Uh, I'm pretty sure Hogan came out to uh, the Jimi Hendrix song that he usually does. And, uh, they kind of masked it into something else as some kind of weird generic thing, but they kind of like warp it a little bit. Also, I'm noticing like Victoria who came out to tattoos, all the things she said, um, I, that seems to be masked a little bit too. And they maybe just have the guitar riffs uh, because I think it was taken off of, or they had a version of it, um, beforehand, uh, you know, or, or something, something very, very, very similar. Um, it's unfortunate. But again, um, I would rather have that be the issue with uh, these on the network than what happened with the DVD set where they were um, poorly, poorly, poorly masking the WWF insignias all over the place for several years. Uh, so I'll take this. I'll certainly take this kind of situation. So let me know what you thought of WrestleMania 13, no, 13, 19, 19 as we... Uh, Continue our road to WrestleMania, 30 days of WrestleMania here on WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Let me know what you thought of this and other stuff over on the comments to this video. And, of course, at Mayhem Show on the Twitters. And I'm at Sorgatron. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.